Balance is an essential part of any successful organization. The balance between work and family has to be met in such a way that the workplace doesn't suffer nor does the family suffer. Hence the term balance. So I have been doing some research on family. I've been watching a lot of Family Ties, Family Matters, Family Guy, great families that we can all learn from. I've also researched a lot of the royal family. Obviously the world's greatest family or they wouldn't be called royal family. So, I've learned a lot of things and I'm going to call a staff meeting and introduce these new policies that are going to help us become more of a family here in the office so that we can strike that balance between work and family. All right, everybody, staff meeting, let's go. Everybody in my office, I'm calling a staff meeting right now. I need everybody in here. Come on, let's go. Staff meeting, everybody. I want to direct your attention to the photographs on the wall. Tell me, what do all of these people have in common? Let me help you. right father figures each of these are wonderful father figures as you look across the wall uh, what about Michael J Fox that what about Michael J Fox well he's not really a father figure okay and he's on there twice right Michael J Fox and family ties Michael J Fox back to the future where he goes back in time to save his family and help his father. So, but still not a father figure. That's not the point, Casey. It works. Let me explain the pictures. The Pope, obviously the Holy Father. Billy Ray Cyrus, amazing father. Billy Ray Cyrus, hero of mine. Don't tell my heart. Great father figure. And a mullet, you know. Business in the front, family in the back. It works. Although he may have an achy breaky heart right now. I have the forefathers of our country. George Washington, George Bush, his father George Bush, Bill Clinton, the father of Arkansas. Bill Cosby the Jell-O Pudding Father, and of course, Darth Vader, Luke, I am your father. All amazing father figures. So, in thinking about father figures, we're trying to strike a balance here at work between family and work. So, I thought the greatest way for us to make that balance happen is for us to be a family at work. So I'm going to be your father figure. So Doug wants to be my father figure. That's weird. I already have two dads. I don't need another one. And playing dress up in a tea party? Really? My daughters don't even want to do that and they're eight and 13. I'm nowhere close to that. And I don't want to do a tea party. Ugh. You know, I need to do things to help her feel more like, you know, a little girl. To help her feel a part of the family. Doug's trying to be a father figure to me. Casey, I know you're the youngest one here on staff. And because of that, I know that there are some things you really need from a father figure. 
I think it's very important that he learn a little bit more about what life is really about. So, there's something I really need to talk to you about. Something that's very important. You see, Casey, when a man and a woman love each other a lot. And I appreciate that and all, teaching me about the birds and the bees and whatever. But, um, I hate to tell them, but uh, my wife's pregnant. So, uh, been there, done that. Thanks, though, Doug. Carol is a little bit different. He's the oldest, um, therefore I expect more out of him, and I'm harder on him, I admit it. But he needs discipline, and what father doesn't discipline their kids? Don't spare the rod. Look it up. Okay, dunce. I don't know why I have to wear this stupid hat. Dunce. Dictator. Doug. Doo-doo head. Yeah, D for all of the above. It hurts me more than it hurts him. I don't know what Doug's thinking with all this family-friendly father figure stuff, and uh, but he wants to teach me how to play baseball. Well, I played baseball in college. I, I can throw pretty well. I think he's just going to get hurt. I think that went well. I think the idea of balance between work and family has really been brought to life with the things I've put in place, being the father figure with the staff. We're not just working for the weekends, we can be with our family. We balance family and work by being a family at work. Two birds, one stone. And I wouldn't give my kids snakes if they asked for stones, right? That's in the scriptures too. Look it up. It's in there.